this video i'm going to show you how to model um, a realistic wine glass using polygons in my previous video i showed you how to model the glass using the cv curve tool if you want to watch that you can check it out i put the uh, the link in the description below so but in this one we are going to use uh, polygons to do that to start let's start from the front view here in the front view let's bring in our reference image which we can get from import image plane import image so this is the reference image that we are going to be using so increase it slight a little bit and let's move it up okay yeah and maybe position it a little bit here So we'll be using the polygon tool this time instead of the um, the curve tool that we used before. Let's go to the perspective view. This because we're gonna be tracing this, so we don't really need too much resolution at this point. So let's let me isolate this for a minute so what i can do now is let's go to the construction history here is 20. the the subdivision is 20. we don't need that much let's bring it down to like 12. okay and uh, for the cap here i don't want these lines here I don't want this nice i just want one face there so what i can do is we go to the top view top view you go to edges and you select click and drag i, I want to delete those edges i don't want them so now we have like this the reason i deleted it is because so that if i have to get my face i just click once i don't need to select multiple ages so i just click once and i get the whole thing that's the reason i did that so let's, let's come back to the, our our front view now we just increase it we'll be starting with now to help us see what we are doing see our reference a little bit more clearly let's assign a material to this to this our, mo our model so you can assign just a simple lambert material is okay and uh, let's increase the transparency so that we, we are seeing our reference behind okay something like that so let's select our the top and now we begin to extrude you extrude move it up scale it Extrude again, move it up, scale. You press G to repeat that, move it up, scale, G, move it up, scale. G again, move it up, scale it, scale it. 
Yeah, you can just go straight. Scale again. If you lose your handles, you can press Z on your keyboard to bring it back. It's just matching it better. Oh, keep keep going. You can see it's very simple. Very simple. Now at the top here, what we can do is come back to the perspective view and extrude. This time we offset it a little bit so we can get some thickness. Let me try 0.15. Okay, and then extrude again. right and we're making the thickness for the glass right now so we can come back to here just maybe there and that thickness is looks fine again yeah G again. right there okay ah uh, I see So you can see, 
and maybe we can leave the base here just like that but we're having an issue here so what we can do is we need to select only the the edge for the inside so we go to the edges let's press 4 so we can see that so you double click it now it's selected so we can just just that just like that once you're done you can press 3 on your keyboard to smooth it let's now remove the the transparency because we don't need it anymore you see that's our wine glass but what we can do right now is to add a little bit thickness here to do that you just go to um i think here um mesh tool multi-cut tool so you use that you press control on your keyboard so and you can I think just one at the middle will be fine so right now when you press okay i think that thickness is fine so this is how you make uh, a wine glass using the polygon tool Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.